state guidance also puts the burden on businesses. It's up to businesses to decide whether they will be checking shot cards at the door. And of course, you think about small and big businesses, all different situations here. That's also why there's lots of talk about what's called shot passport, some kind of digital credential that can easily be scanned to enter everywhere. We're talking from a store to even an airplane. Our Lisa Balick is looking into this and was even able to ask the governor about it today. Lisa joins us live now from South Portland. Lisa. Yeah, keep in mind, uh, no shot card, no mask, likely no service now. And the idea of a vaccine passport, also not likely. Today we are celebrating a half a millionth vaccine being given here at the OCC site. More than a quarter of a million Oregonians have gotten a shot since January at the largest mass vaccination clinic in Oregon. They also took home this, that little paper card showing they were vaccinated. It's what you may be asked to show at the door of businesses now to prove you're fully vaccinated and can go inside without a mask. But some business owners tell me they're worried that asking for shot proof is asking for protected health information or that what you show could be easily a fake is why there's talk of vaccine passports. New York State offers one for its residents, a free phone app that digitally verifies you're vaccinated and produces a QR code that can be scanned to allow passport holders to get into a lot of places, including sporting events. I asked Governor Brown whether Oregon will do this. Do you favor putting some kind of a state passport in place? Look, we are going to move forward. We are not going to move forward with that approach. As I said, I don't have a concern about businesses moving forward with vaccine verification program. Some legal experts say many businesses, though, are not under the health care privacy rule known as HIPAA, especially since it's voluntary whether you show them vaccine proof as a customer. Several states, though, have passed laws banning a vaccine passport, calling it a violation of personal rights. But healthcare providers, whether it's a pharmacy or a hospital who give you a shot, are keeping track of your information. There's a statewide database of immunizations. Many businesses, though, say they'll stick with requiring masks for everyone rather than scrutinize shot cards. Now, keep in mind, too, that most Oregonians are not fully vaccinated at this point. So we've come a long way, but still a long ways to go. Live in South Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Thank